Hey eBay sellers, it's Suzanne A. Wells, and I have another $100 super size sales video. The sales in this video come from my Facebook group where we have a thread every week called Money Making Mondays, and sellers can post what they found, where they found it, how much they paid for it, and show us the completed sale and the amount the item sold for. And just a side note to those of you who regularly participate in Money Making Mondays, which without you, these videos would not be possible. So I want to thank all of you for that. In June, we're going to start a separate thread just for the $100 and over sales. We did this a few years ago. And we're going to go back to that because <laughs> uh, it's all about me. It's just easier and faster for me to make these videos when all of the $100 and over sales are in a separate thread. And here's the problem is when I'm going through the Money Making Mondays to get the information and do the screenshots to get the images and the text that I'm putting into these videos, it is a really long process because you have to wait for the enlarged image to load and then you have to go back to the thread and sometimes it doesn't put you in the exact same place that you left off and Facebook is a memory hog anyway so it's just really a slow process. So I want to find a way to be more efficient so I can make these faster and do more of them because you all have indicated you like these and you want to see them more often on YouTube. And then another side note is I did not do a video last week because I was on vacation and I will have more information about that in my sales update video coming in early June and just show you where I went and just give you a little bit of the backstory that, you know, I do have a life. I mentioned this on my podcast this week, so if you are not tuned in to my podcast, be sure and check that out because I do go into more detail about backstories, personal stories, and it's just a little bit more relaxed than what I do on YouTube. So we are going to get started with Rebecca Small. This is an honorable mention sale, not quite $100, but I did want to talk about this brand. This is an 80s Jessica McClintock Gunny Sacks dress. She paid $7 for this. It sold in a week. She took a best offer of $98 plus shipping. And Jessica McClintock uh, recently passed away in February of 2021. So as it normally happens when a celebrity or designer or athlete, anybody in the public eye uh, passes away, their merchandise can become more valuable and more expensive. And this is already a vintage item. So it's already selling for a good price but now that it was all in the news that uh, the creator and designer is no longer with us her items are becoming more valuable and more collectible and I've seen several of them posted on the Money Making Mondays so uh, put this one on your bolo list if you're not looking for these they're pretty easy to spot in the dresses because a lot of them are longer, some are maxi dresses, and they do have a lot of lace and sort of peasant type details on them. So you can find them more quickly than other styles because you can see these details and the length, you know, they're, they're long. Some of them are. Okay, moving on. 
Terry Gonzalez paid $15 at an estate sale last month for this vintage flip Sony clock radio. Sold for $99 in a couple of weeks. And now we have Allison Haveman. She said, this is a Nuance Dragon, naturally speaking, professional edition, version 12 software that I found at an estate sale for $7. It sold for $99.99 plus shipping. It took less than two weeks to sell. I had a lot of interest and watchers on this as it was the only one of its kind at the time when I listed it on eBay. So this is software that you just speak into it and it types for you. And I did research using this a while ago because I was having some shoulder pain and which turned into arm pain and it's really hard to type when you have any kind of pain in your hands or arms. But I think these types of software are just fabulous because more and more of them are coming out and will definitely help anyone with disabilities or physical issues where typing is painful or maybe not possible. So I love to see these types of items selling and they're out there, you know, maybe somebody tried it, didn't like it, donated it, and Allison comes along and bought it. Um, actually, she says, found it in a state sale. So you never know when somebody's going to buy something that's perfectly good and they just don't like it, doesn't work for them, and it gets donated. Okay, now we've got Julie Harden. Found these at the bins, so maybe a couple of dollars. Sold in a couple of weeks. These are uh, a set of David Clark headset with microphone. Two dollars sold for hundred and four fifty. And another regular on our one hundred dollar videos, Lewis Prizzy, purchased at a flea market for ten dollars, sold for full asking price in about ten days. This is a Fiesta vase in sea mist green sold for $109.95 and he paid $10. Okay, next up is Carol Kirk. She said, I had a nice surprise when I woke up this morning. After making several offers to my watchers, I had one of my American Girl dolls go for my full asking price of $109 plus shipping. She took about a week to sell. It's hard to say what I have into her, meaning what she paid for it, since this collection is so large, but I'll say $25. So here you can see the item is American Girl Doll of the Year Jess 2006 with an outfit, necklace, it's got some accessories on it, so that makes it more valuable. And she paid $25 and it sold for $109.99. Now here is an item that just makes you do the face palm. Um, like why? I know they're collectible, but still, it's just a glass. So Amelia Martinez said, this sold the same day I listed it. I even had the $16.95 price tag in the picture and it still sold for over $100. This is the glass tumbler, not the acrylic. It is a rare Starbucks Venti 20 ounce clear glass double wall cold tumbler cup with straw from 2017. So four years old. It sold for $110. So the untrained eye looking at this thinks, oh, it's just some plain Starbucks glass. No big deal. But here we are four years after it came out and it's selling for a hundred and ten dollars and this just blows my mind now Starbucks Disney McDonald's Coca-Cola a lot of big companies like that create items intentionally that are going to become collectible they are limited in number so the value is only going to go up and people collect everything so 
This is just one of those hiding in plain sight kind of things. You might see this at a thrift store and think, well, it's not fancy, it's not Christmas, um, nothing really eye-catching about it, but $110. I know, I get off on these tangents, but this business just never gets boring. <laughs> it's just always more things to learn. Okay, next up is Missy Callie. Purchased this at a local Knoxville area thrift store for $14.99. Sold for best offer of $115 about eight months later. This is Isabel Morant Cotton Linen Blazer. $14.99. Sold for $115. And this is very plain looking too. It's not one of those crazy sweaters or something that just jumps out at you. Very plain looking, but still valuable. Next up is another repeat offender, Brian Rappaport. Paid $10 at an estate sale on Friday. Sold Friday night for $119.99. This is a Canon Sure Shot 35 millimeter camera with a case. And Casey says, what's this buying and listing on the same day stuff. <laughs> and Brian says, ha, getting easy stuff like this done helps when I have another 30 to 40 things to list after a full weekend. Now that I'm back to estate sales, I've got lots to list. So I commend you, Brian, for that immediate listing once you have the item in your hands. That is a habit we should all adopt. Okay, next is Wendy Kruger, who specializes in jewelry. Paid $20 at an estate sale. Sold for $120 plus shipping. Took 21 months. Love this one-of-a-kind necklace, so I was waiting for the right buyer. That's what O-O-A-K means, one-of-a-kind, in case you didn't know that acronym. This is a vintage... Heraldic Lion Statement Necklace. Now, as a Leo, that would be perfect for me. If I found that, I would have had to keep it. She paid $20, sold for $120. Okay, here we have Ken McNamara, the pots and pans expert. Paid $8, sold for $124 in four days. All clad, stainless steel, paella, all-in-one, pan, double handle with lid. And look how shiny it is. So beautiful. And I just never find any good cookware at thrift stores I go to. And I'm looking because I study the Money Making Mondays and see what other people are selling. And I'm just not finding this good stuff. So I don't know if People in the South just completely wear it out or what the deal is, but that is just beautiful. Okay, Valerie Plummer. Found this at the Goodwill Bins for about $5. Sold in less than 24 hours. St. John Collection Long Duster Coat, size 6, wool blend, red knit. $5, sold for $125 in a day. So Valerie, you get a gold star for getting that listed quickly because it sold quickly. Okay, now we've got Robin Parsons, 49 cents at Salvation Army. She was dirty. Cleaned her up and listed. I love the challenge to restore these plush memories. This is Amtoy plush vintage baby soft yellow terry cloth plush doll. It sold for $125. It cost her 49 cents. So yeah, vintage plush is hugely profitable. Next up is Max Green. Found this vintage guest t-shirt at Goodwill. I think I paid around $1.50 for it. Took about a year to sell. Accepted best offer of $130 with free shipping. This is a vintage guest t-shirt, ad campaign, 
black and white photo. So $1.50 sold for $130. Now we have Lewis Prizzy again with some vintage Sailor Moon dolls purchased at thrift store for about $15, listed for $150, sold in two weeks on best offer for $130. Next up is Nikki Tanner, purchased at ARC, paid $2.50, it was 50% off color tag, sold for $139.99, full asking in less than five minutes, international buyer. This is a Little Mermaid base for, um, not sure what you put on it, if it's a ceramic doll or it's to display something, but it's the Little Mermaid theme. Paid $2.50, sold for $139.99. Okay, Danielle Lee, found at Goodwill for $7. Took about a year to sell for full asking price of $149.99. Nike women's dunk shoes. And I hope you don't mind if I say this, Danielle, but I don't see the word shoes or sneakers in your title. So that might be why it wasn't coming up in search. It was missing two kind of important words. And maybe you ended it and restarted it a few times and just overlooked that detail. But maybe that could have helped a buyer find it more quickly. Anyway, $7.00 sold for 150 so what a great sale okay now we've got Sharon Schultz picked this Kate Spade bag from my own closet sold in a few weeks on best offer for 135 so this is a Kate Spade Blake Avenue Philippa nylon duffel bag and we had a big discussion on the Facebook group this week about an item that the buyer claimed was not authentic. The seller stated that she purchased it at a major retailer and knew it was authentic. However, I just want to stress how important it is to have these items authenticated. You may know it's authentic because you bought it, it's yours. But when you have that certificate of authentication in the listing, that's going to cover you if the buyer disputes it. So it's either like 10 or $20 to have handbags and other high-end items authenticated. There's several different services. You can Google that. It's just one of those things you can do to prevent a dispute with the buyer. And yes, I agree. There are unscrupulous people out there who are going to look for listings where they can pull this scam, receive an authentic item and claim that it's not, or you know, return something different than what they purchased. And having that certificate of authenticity can prevent some of these situations of course not all of them crooked people are just going to do crooked things and sometimes you're a victim of that but if you're going to sell high-end especially handbags Prada, Gucci, Coach those types of items I can't stress how important it is to have those authenticated to cover yourself in the event of a dispute. Next up is Lisa White, bought at a thrift store for $3, listed for $380, took best offer of $150 in less than a week. Vintage, Etienne, Anye, Clog, Burgundy, Leather, Woven Jute Wedge. And yes, that is how you pronounce it. Anye. Some people pronounce it Agner, and that is unfortunately incorrect. <laughs> I have a course in the Premium Library all about Anye and the brand. 
itself, where it came from, and the products that are the best sellers and all of that. So I did my research on that pronunciation. So now you can impress all of your friends with how to pronounce that brand. Okay, moving on to Anne Kazar. Paid $7 at Goodwill, originally sold on auction, and buyer didn't pay, so then took a few days to sell again. Another St. John item. Women's size 16, navy blue knit, long jacket with gold buttons. $150, paid $7 for it. Next up is KC, $5 at a thrift store, sold for $157 in 10 days. I dread the day my thrift learns how to price golf clubs. <laughs> Tailor made golf sim max rescue hybrid 22, a whole bunch of numbers. I don't know anything about golf clubs, but anyway, $5 sold for $157 in 10 days. Ginger Lamprite bought this at a community garage sale for $10, sold for best offer of $160 with free shipping in about a month. This is a softball bat. And look at you, Ginger, just branching out into all kinds of items. I'm going to have to start looking at bats. I've seen so many on the Facebook group, but that's another one I don't know anything about. So, learning opportunity. Okay, Terry Gonzalez again. Bought two of these at an estate sale for $18 each. Sold for $167. Sold the other one a few months ago. This is Paloma Picasso Perfumed Body Powder. Must be vintage. $18, sold for $167. Okay, we've got Casey again with some rollerblades. $10 at the thrift store, sold for $180 in eight months. Back to Ginger Lamprite. Bought this set at Goodwill for $60 two months ago. Sold for full asking of $179.99 with free shipping. Lot of 28 Value Tales hardcover books. Interesting. I've never heard of those. Okay. My sorority sister and twin name friend, <laughs> Suzanne Keen, who I met in Dallas at an eBay workshop I did four years ago. That was in 2017. Wow, how time flies. She sold this item for $182.43. She said this pearl and 14 karat gold ring was in a baggie full of jewelry my mom purchased at a thrift store many years ago. It took a couple of years and several price changes to finally sell for $182.43. So this was free to her. And it's a beautiful cocktail ring. 14 karat gold and pearl. Leah Hayes. She says, when they say look around your house for stuff to sell, do it. This has been in my little Boyd's bin forever, no pun intended. I had messages as soon as I listed it. Started bids at $25, buyer paid instantly. This is a Boyd's Bear mini message bear, friends forever, rare four inch plush. Sold for $188.50. So listen up everybody. Even if you are a regular seller, you still have stuff around your house that is probably worth something. Why? Because the market changes all the time. And maybe it wasn't worth anything years ago, but it might be now. So I agree with Leah. Look around your house for stuff to sell because you will be surprised. Okay, moving on to Kim Spence. Paid $4 at a local thrift store. Sold in about six months. Sales have been really slow, was in the process of putting my store on a 15% off sale when right before I hit the final button, ka-ching, sold the trays for full asking price. 
set of four 1950s mid-century modern poodle trays. Black, pink, blue, and white. So these are like black lacquer trays, similar probably to Kurok trays that have the gold etching in them. These sold for $200 and she paid $4. And now for our cover photo, George Kelly found this Starbucks tumbler Friday at a garage sale for $2. Accepted best offer of $200 the next day. 2019 Starbucks Rose Gold Studded Tumbler Cup 24 ounces new with tag. $2 and sold for $200. And George put a map up on the Facebook group one day from like a garage sale app that shows where all of them are. And so that map had, I don't know how many, like 300 <laughs> garage sales on it. So many. And I thought, you know, that's going to be on my bucket list is to go to some garage sales with George Kelly because he finds the best stuff and this sold in one day two dollar item sold for two hundred dollars just amazing okay Diane Nielsen bought at a yard sale for a dollar took about a week to sell for two hundred twenty dollars it was worn in a movie and I was really surprised when I came home and looked up comps this is anthropology elevenses that is the sub-brand name, Elevens is. It's hard to say. Rare ruffled plume coat feather Chloe movie coat size 6, $220. And if you are interested in learning more about anthropology, I have a course on that in the premium library. Several different segments with the different sub-brands, what the tags look like, because with anthropology, it doesn't always say anthropology on it. It just has that sub-brand. And that's what you have to learn to look for and be able to recognize the tags. So come over and check that out. Now we've got Tammy Burke, purchased from an estate sale for $40. Took approximately three weeks to sell for full asking price. And what an item this is. <laughs> Vintage Happy Chick, 1957 Yonzawa Crazy Chicken Car. I mean, that just looks collectible. It's from 1957. Looks like it's in great shape. She paid $40 and sold it for $224.95. Okay, now we've got Jody Clark. The third of four Panasonic VHS DVD recorders I bought at a thrift store for $6.97. Sold in one day for $2.29.95. So for all you electronics people, this is a great flip. Seven bucks sold for $230 in one day. And next is David Schneider. Bought on Facebook Marketplace for $70, sold within 24 hours for $235 plus shipping. And this is a amplifier. I really have a lot of respect for people who sell electronics because that is one category that's just overwhelming to me. I just, I just don't know what those things are. So good for you. Next up is Kim Pomeranz. Got this at an antique mall and paid $19.99. I was very excited to see that it was the orange and brown color scheme as I have sold the red and black one before for over $100. But these are worth even more. I listed it for $279.99 and accepted an offer in six days for $255 plus a flat rate of $15 for priority shipping to a freight forwarder. The buyer's profile was in Japan. This is Fire King Vintage Snoopy Red Baron Orange Milk Glass Mug. 
and Kim gets something special in this video that we're going to start calling a Bolo Bingo because this is on page 78 of my Bolo handbook. And you'll notice the price here, $250. And what did Kim sell it for? $255. So that just shows you that the research is accurate. This item is findable. Kim did not need the book to find this item, <laughs> but you might not have known about it. And the book has 124 other items in it that you might not know about. So just thought I'd sprinkle that in to make this video a little bit more fun. Kim Pomeranz got the bolo bingo in this video. Okay, moving on to David Schneider again. Bought this item on Facebook Marketplace for $200 and sold in one day for $295 plus shipping. This is a Bose Wave radio system. Okay, next up is Tammy Burke sold three rolls of wallpaper for full asking price minus quantity discount reflected in price. Purchased approximately 15 rolls for $5 each over a year and a half ago from Habitat Resale. Have sold multiple rolls intermittently. The sale price for three rolls was $299.85. Now we have Kim Klein, paid $4.99 at a thrift store, listed as a seven-day auction and got one bid, which is totally fine because I made lots of money off this. Lisa Frank Fantastic Fashions Alien Backpack, rare and vintage. Her investment was five bucks and she sold it for $300 in a week. Here's a beautiful item, Kim Smith. This was free to her, listed in March. Greg Jensen, Texas Abstract, Sterling Silver, Ranger four-piece belt buckle. $340, and this is just the buckle part. It's not the whole belt. So this was free to her, sold for $340. Judy Ashman paid $10 for this lot of five Sure microphones and she sold them for repair or parts and they sold for $364. Wow, who knew? Julia Marchenko, free to me practically as it was thrown into a huge hoard of clothing I bought at a private buying appointment. Sold after six months for a best offer of $370. Lara 30s style black silk sequins beads evening dress. So mother of the bride dress, sparkly and sequiny, sold for $370. Okay, and David Schneider pops up again. Bought from another reseller's booth for $100, sold in three days for $429 plus shipping. This is a Toshiba DVR DVD VCR combo recorder. And we're going to end kind of with what we started with a Jessica McClintock Gunny Sacks vintage dress. Kim Nordhagen said, I had this hanging with my to do list bunch of dresses for approximately one year given to me by a friend to sell since she didn't want it. Listed as auction starting at $49.95 with Buy It Now and had two bids within five minutes. Sold on Buy It Now in less than 20 minutes. And she's got the face palm and bolo and the flames because this is a hot bolo right now. $400 for this dress. Okay, we have made it to the end and I was beginning to wonder if this video was ever going to get made. <laughs> Getting back from vacation, I'm kind of behind, so I try to post my videos on Wednesdays, and um, I'm a day behind on that, and then my iMovie crashed, and I had to start over, and then um, I just couldn't talk at the end, because that's how it is when you are trying to talk for 45 minutes. So, thanks for sticking with me, thanks for everybody who posts on Money Making Mondays. And look for that dedicated thread starting in June where you can put your 
$100 and higher sales all in one place. Thanks again for watching and I will be back on my regular schedule next week. Have a profitable and productive and fun day on eBay. Bye.